Hey guys, welcome to another amazing Qi Energy webinar with me, David Wong. So today, we have a very special message and topic. It is the truer version of the truth that you have never heard before. And also, there's a subtopic that we will be discussing, which is rediscovering an ancient power. If you don't know me, I'm David Wong. My story is I was chronically ill for 10 years. I suffered from a chronic digestive disease that sucked up all my energy to the point that I could barely do any work. I was so tired every day and I was in pain every day and I suffered every day for 10 whole freaking years. And I tried every kind of conventional medicine there was. There was uh, medication, there's um, different kinds of uh, uh, alternative therapy as well, such as acupuncture and herbs and naturopathic medicine. But in the long term, over those 10 years, I never was able to heal myself. And I thought I was just going to live like that for the rest of my life and just try to get by and survive. And the older I got during that time, the less energy I had because my body grew weaker and weaker. When I was younger, I could kind of like tough my way through it and still be able to function kind of semi-normally. But as the years went by, my immune system and my energy level and my regenerative system just started to de degenerate as with regular aging. And I said, I got to find a way to heal this thing once and for all because I was only in my 20s, 30s at that time. And I said, if I'm going to live my whole life like this, then I'm just wasting my life away. There's so much more I can be doing with if I have more energy. I could be, I could be, you know, running a business. I could be going out and enjoying my life instead of just staying at home and being tired and being sick all the time. So I started to research um, some alternative, alternative therapies, such as, and specifically, frequency therapies using electromagnetic energy. And at the same time, I was learning how to meditate. I was learning how to do Qigong, which is a Chinese way of meditation, which combines breathing, movements, and visualization in order to control the energy or the processes in your, in your body, even down to your heartbeat, down to your breath, down to how your mind works, how, you know, the different levels of your brain waves, being able to control those things and I was learning how to do those things through meditation and qigong and that helped a lot but still I wasn't able to heal myself I still had that problem I've just felt a little bit more energy I felt a little bit calmer less stress but still I had that disease and it didn't get much better until I used electromagnetic field therapy and I used the uh, a frequency for intestinal inflammation and since you, the first time I turned it on, I knew after 10 minutes that, wow, this is something that is completely different from everything else I tried because I started to feel my gut starting to work out. It felt like it was like working out by itself and I didn't even have to do anything. And I felt this cool sensation fill out my, my gut area, which I never felt before. And I knew something different was happening and maybe it was the key to healing myself. So long story short, 90 days later, I was completely healed, had no more symptoms of my digestive disease. I had, I had so much energy to do the things I wanted to do. Um, I had so much, my mood was improved so much better. My brain functioned a lot better. I was able to focus. I was able to work and focus for long periods of time and get a lot of stuff done. I could, today, I could do what a regular person does in three days, I can do in one day. And that's because of this technology. So, and the reason I'm here is because it transformed my life in such a way that I wanted to help other people because I knew that there's people out there that are suffering just like me, that have been looking for a solution. They've tried literally everything there is to try in order to heal themselves, but they probably they haven't been able to heal themselves completely. Maybe it worked to a certain extent. Maybe they 20% better, 30% better. And then sometimes they relapse and sometimes it gets better. And it's just a struggle every day. But then 
I wanted to help people, you know, really just transform themselves 100%, 110%, make themselves into what they're supposed to be. We are supposed to be, so supposed to be healthy. And what does healthy mean? What does normal supposed to mean? And today, in the, today's day and age, we don't have normal anymore. The normal is sick, sickness and disease. That's the norm. But how can we bring it back to the normal that we intended to be as humans, which is to be vibrant, to be energetic, to be creative, to be powerful, because we are created with a lot of power inside of us. We have such incredible power inside of us that we have not tapped. Why have we not tapped into it? Because most of us are so busy staying and surviving and staying semi-healthy and mostly sick rather than being like ultra ultra healthy which is where we're supposed to be okay so my goal my vision is to bring as many people as possible bring you bring your family bring everybody that you know into that ultra health into that normal health that we're supposed to have as humans so today we're talking about chi and what is chi people ask me they say qi, right? They pronounce it qi as qi, but it's not pronounced qi, it's actually qi in Chinese. So what is qi? There's so many different kinds of explanations. And qi is just the, the Asian or the Chinese way uh, or word for it, but there, it, qi exists in many other cultures. So what other cultures are there? I mean, what other uh, uh, definitions are there? Okay, well, if you see this graph here, um, so qi. That's Chinese, and then in Japanese, it's called Ki. It's also Prana for Hindu. Uh, odd, Odo, Orgon, Time Density, Torsion, Deltrons, E Emanation, Chrono Field, Brill, Bioplasma, Biogravity, Mana, Orendo, Waken, Wakondo, Maraca, Numa, Mycogenic Rays, Elan Vitale, Life Force, and Subtle Energy. So these are just different names given to it by different societies and, and uh, civilizations, and also by scientists that have discovered um, what this subtle energy is. And I'm going to explain a little bit about how science is showing what she actually is. You guys want to learn what she actually is and what scientists have found out recently? Raise your hand if you do. Because until, let's say, before 20 years ago, um, when we talk about chi, when people talk about chi, people thought it was just some kind of made up fantasy and only exists in kung fu movies and only exists in in, in uh, sci-fi movies or books or comics and superhero movies and stuff like that it doesn't really exist in real life it's just made up it's just like a fantasy right but now uh, or recently in the last 20 years and now even more so because of the internet and the information age now we learn that we can scientifically prove that there's cheese all around us all the physicists there's so much evidence and so much research into it um, that has been done, but conventional scientists are not really willing to accept it because it's outside of what they normally accept as common as physics. But what we're finding is that now there's a different level of physics that exists beyond conventional physics. Okay, which I explain. So let me tell you a story. There's been a lot of scientific experiments done, and one of them. Uh, involved a Qigong master. Now, they've done hundreds of these experiments. I'm just going to explain one of them. And there's this Qigong master who they put in a room um, in, in the city, and then they had another lab somewhere else where they had these um, petri dishes, and they put human cells in these petri dishes. So you know what petri dishes look like, right? So let me... So it's something like this. So... They would put human cells in these petri dishes and expose them to gamma radiation. Now, what do you think happens to cells when they get exposed to gamma radiation? Who knows? They die. Okay. So usually, if you get exposed to gamma radiation, just like the Hulk did in <laughs> in Avengers, right? You got exposed to gamma radiation, so you you, you die. Um, cells die, and in a matter of twenty four hours, usually half of the cells will die. Um, uh, human cells. So what they did with this Qigong master was that he, uh, they told him, okay, we want you to use your mind and use your qi energy to basically stop these cells from dying. And he did exactly that. Um, and they tested him to put his intention into one petri dish 
and then he gave his energy or he gave his energy before the gamma rays were exposed to it. So he did it for about uh, like 10 minutes and he put the intention of protecting those cells in one of the petri dishes. And then after 24 hours, they counted the cells and then the, the, the one that he energized had 80% survival rate, whereas the other one had only 50% survival rate. Are you guys following me? So he was able to increase the survival rate of the cells from only 50% up to 80% just because he was sending his chi energy to the petri dish. Are you guys following? All right, so just by using his mind, and it's just not something he did just once. He repeated it about 500 times, okay? Uh, not himself, but they did it with about 10 different Qigong masters, and they were all able to do the same thing. And apparently, um, they were able to do it regardless of whether there's any shielding on the petri dishes or not. So some of you might, might be thinking, okay, well, if you put some kind of electromagnetic you know, shielding and shield and block the energy um, around the petri dish, then obviously then the chi energy will not get through, right? Well, they did that and it, it had no difference. What, whether they were shielding or not, it made no difference. The chi energy still went through and still affected the cells. Another thing that they found was that they did the experiment while the Qigong master was in the lab and then they did an experiment while the Qigong master was about 500 miles away. And do you, would you think that there's a difference? Do you think if he was further away that his energy would be weaker or maybe not, it wouldn't even work? So the answer is that it, regardless of distance, the energy healing had, no, had the same effect, had the same effect. So he was able to increase the survival rate of the petri dishes or the, or the human cells just as well as if he was there in person. So there was no difference that distance. So, so even if he was 3000 miles away, yes, they, that's right. He was able to remotely um, alter the effect of, um, or shield the, uh, the human cells from gamma radiation, okay? And they did this many, like hundreds of times and they still got the same effects. And guess what else is really interesting is that they, will, they also discovered that a poorly conditioned space would stop the healing ability. Okay, what do you mean by poorly conditioned space? Now, okay, now we're talking about something that is, that is not, um, obviously it's not visible, you can't see it. And also, it's not electromagnetic either. Now, because now our, our chi core is electromagnetic, you can feel it with a magnet you can even sense it with your with your hands a lot. But then the chi energy that he was using was something else. It wasn't just electromagnetic. It was going through another medium that had no um, correlation to how, how far it is and actually no correlation to time either, which I explained, time and space. So, um, so what is this energy? Well, if this energy is real, then that means that it's everywhere. It's all around us and it's always affecting us at all times. So a poorly conditioned space, I don't mean air condition, I mean a place that has very bad chi energy. So there's places, have you ever walked into the room where you just felt like there's something, you know, wrong in the room and just felt this really bad vibe in the room? Or if you walked in, the, in another room and then you just felt really good. You just felt happy. You just felt at peace. You just felt calm. Okay. So there's a such thing as, as energy rating or energy condition of a, of a space of a room. So what they also found was that if they did not prepare the room energetically in ahead of time by removing the ener negative energy, the healing would be stopped. Okay. So you got to think about that. And they proved this scientifically. Um, they had to, basically you had to, energetically cleanse the room um, before they did the experiments. Otherwise, it would not work, okay? Energetically cleanse. So you're probably asking, how do you energetically cleanse? Well, there's many ways to do it. Uh, you can do it with your mind. You can do it with an oral coil. That's what they're for. They cover a whole entire house with the uh, electromagnetic field so you can cleanse a whole house and keep it clean. Uh, or you can 
you know, use other kinds of technologies out there for, to keep it clean. But those are the three things that they found is number one, they were able to, without a doubt, um, affect the life and the health of cells by just using their intention. Okay, number two, it did not reduce in, in effectiveness, even if it was shielded. Number three, it did not reduce in effectiveness regardless of distance. And number four, the space or the place where they are conducting the experiment had to be energetically clean or basically sterilized before they can do it. Just the same way if you're gonna do any experiment, you have to sterilize all the petri dishes and clean them from all bacteria. You have to do the same thing with the energetic space. So think about that. Think about what kind of energetic space you're in and how that is probably one factor of inhibiting your healing and your well-being in your life. Okay? So you guys are excited about hearing that? So that's just one experiment. There's hundreds of different experiments done like this uh, with Qigong masters, with prana, pranic healers, Reiki healers. It's all the same thing. Okay? We can all do this. All humans have the ability to heal energetically, to use their mind and intention to do exactly that, to be able to send energy and heal your other people or things or affect different things. And you will be, your mind will be blown when I, when I um, talk about other things that you can do with your mind, not just healing. There's many other things that you can do that most people don't even know. Okay, so let me show you another screen. Not a graph. So here, here's a graph that kind of explains what happened. So survival rate after uh, radiation. So with no healing, you can see on the left side here, uh, survival rate after 24 hours. So with no extra energy healing, only, only half the si uh, cells would survive. If they did the healing after the radiation exposure, then 70% would survive. If they did the healing before the radiation exposure, then 80% would survive. If they did it before and after, so they did the healing session before the exposure and after exposure, then that would increase to 88%. And then they said, well, why is not 100%? There must be something we're missing. So they got the idea of, of, of um, karma. So they thought that the uh, cells uh, uh, had karma because they were from humans, right? So the, the human, where the cells were came from, probably had karma, um, so they, um, they need to boost the karma of the cells in order to increase the healing effectiveness. And what they did was during the experiment, uh, um, they would donate money with the intention to um, send that karmic energy to the cells. And surprisingly, that worked too. Surprisingly, they were able to increase it up to a, uh, 96% when they increased the cell's karma. Okay, you think karma is not real or it's just kind of some, something made up, but they were able to um, scientifically prove that whether karma or not exists, they, with their intention, gave money to, and donated it uh, during, that, uh, during the um, experiment, experiment and they were able to increase their effectiveness even more. So think about it. If you want to heal, what else is stopping you from healing? Is it because of your karma? Is it because there's something that's blocking the positive energy in your life? Is there, is there something in your space? Are you receiving the proper chi energy in your life? Okay, so that's the story about that. Now they did a little, uh, they did a lot of experiments. Uh, let me share a few more with you so, so I can prove a point. So they also did experiments with mice and with qigong as well. So they had a, a other group of qigong masters and they had a laboratory full of mice and um, they injected the mice with cancer. And normally what happens when they inject mice with cancer is they die. So what they did is they wanted the Qigong masters to basically um, uh, reduce the ce uh, cancer cell growth in the mice using their intention. And this was the result. Okay, so with Qigong therapy, on liver cancer in mice, they had a control which shows uh, the cell growth, the, the cancer cell growth was, you know, up here, okay? They had a sham, so they had a uh, placebo, which was, you know, a little bit lower, but still up here. But then for the mice that had Qigong treatment, Qigong therapy, their cancer cell growth was much lower. 
All right, so these are documented um, experiments done. What else did they do? They also experimented with the effect of energy healing on cancer recovery in mice. So experimental mental mice, control mice in the middle. Okay, so the, the people, I mean the, the mice who had the Qigong treatment, their uh, recovery of can from cancer was much higher than the mice that didn't. And once again, another one, uh, with no control, with, 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 with no Qigong therapy, the cancer cell growth was, was high had, at 100. And with Qigong therapy, it was at only 40 to, to 60. So basically, they were able to inhibit the cancer cells from growing 50%. And guess what? That's right. They did this from 3,000 miles away. And you can research this. His name is uh, Master Ji Xing Li. And he's not the only one. There's many other Qigong masters that he have uh, studied this with and, and, and scientifically proven that Qigong healing works at a distance even. Okay, they were able to do this with mice and with a lot of other things. Right now we have our frequency sale. So there's a 20% extra additional on all our frequencies. So if you're looking for any kind of frequencies for your wellness, we have so many. We have Right frequencies, we have quantum frequencies, wellness and GNG, meditation, DMT and ayahuasca. We have NAD and NMN frequencies for longevity. We have abundance man man manifestation, weight loss and beauty, brain and psychic ability, inner circle, resonant consoles, which have all the frequencies on the tablet so you don't need to use your phone. Uh, and it's a lot more convenient. We have four different kinds of resonant consoles now, all on sale. Uh, so if you want to, and you get 10% off if you're a first time customer, uh, in addition to the another 20% off, that's a little secret, you can, you can combine it. Uh, but we have a limited time, so go and I'll check it out. Another thing, uh, you can go to chilifestore.com, Q-I-L-I-F-E-S-T-O-R-E.com and grab your frequencies. What are your frequencies for? Well, they're basically, we, we, we um, took chi energy in a way, and then we made it into the technology, okay? Uh, because, Qi energy is, is possibly the bridge between um, the mythical and the spiritual and the scientific. It could be the bridge that bridges the gap between those two things. And now, because we understand what Qi really is, then we can actually create technologies that replicate Qi. Because it, those Qigong masters probably have been studying or doing their work for at least 10 years to get to the level where they're at. So with regular people, we don't have as much time and energy to become as good qi, Qigong masters. We all, all have the ability, but we can't, not all of us can get to that level. So why not use a technology and just get the benefits from just a technology that replicates qi? So that's what qi calls are. That's what these frequencies are for. So you wanna try them out. Uh, we have a lot of really good reviews on them. And you know, it's just incredible. You just try them out and, you, and your life will be transformed. Okay, second thing is, we have a TikTok uh, video contest again that's uh, this month until the end of the month. And if you want to win a f free Chico Max, you get the Chico Max worth $3,000. Okay, there's going to be three people who can win this. And just like last time, um, you just make a video on uh with a cheat call or you don't have a cheat call just make any video on any of our products even the download you can make a video on it and you can enter just post it up on your social media with the tags and you're automatically entered into the draw uh, into the contest and we're going to pick three people we're going to pick the uh most inspiring the most creative and the funniest video and if you win then you get to win a brand new cheat call max which is our most powerful cheat call with quant six quantum crystals inside, 20 square feet coverage, dual layer toroidal winding. Okay, so this is our, our latest technology. And what's more, if you think that, oh, I'm not good enough to make a video, I probably can't do one as good as all the other people, don't worry about it, because we're also gonna select 10 people just randomly who are gonna win some uh, surprise gifts. Okay, so if you wanna win something, if you just wanna post up a video, just post up a video, um, just so that you might be able to win that random draw. How long do we have? So we, you have until the end of this month. Okay, so you got plenty of time to do this. 
Okay, you got this is September 9th. So you got like 21 days. You got three weeks to do it. And you can post as many uh, posts as you want. So every single video you post up is considered an entry. So if you want to increase your chances of winning, just post a ton of videos up. Uh, just make a whole bunch of crazy stuff. Okay, whatever you want to make. And uh, then you can make. Okay, so you just look at this website here. Okay, and then, yeah, so just use the the, the tags. Just need to ha put the tags in at Chi Coil and hashtag Chi Coil, and you'll be automatically entered. All right, so that's for the announcements. So, what is Chi? Well, first, it helps to understand what kind of different levels of Chi there are. There's actually many different levels of, uh, levels of Chi. So, when somebody says Chi, um, it can mean many different things because like as as we know chi is all over the place it's everywhere but i've kind of categorized it in four kind of semi um semi categories so there's chi in your body that's internal inside your body chi that's outside your body which is external there's chi in your environment and mind chi or consciousness chi which is um universal and also inside of you so the, the idea is that consciousness is all connected we are all connected the universe is integrated and it's holographic so we are all kind of representations of each other and also representations of the entire universe um but i'll get to that okay let's start with the simple stuff so our body the chi inside our body that's pretty easy to understand right we breathe in there and then in chinese the word for chi is hey or chi, which is the same pronunciation as air. Okay, so already that's very un really understand. We breathe in air, that's one, one source of chi. And if we don't breathe air, what happens? We suffocate and die, right? So we need chi as a life force, we need to have it. So that's the most basic understanding of chi. But what other chi is there? There's also chi in our, um, in our food, right? You eat the food, you get energy from the food, you get nutrients from the food, it nourishes your body, gives you energy so you can move, so you can talk, so you can think. That's pretty easy to understand. So we have chi from food. We have also chi in our organs. What do our organs do? Well, organs all have a different function to play in your body. So some organs are made to process chi or convert the energy into chi, right? And then there's some organs that help to store your chi and there's some organs that help to activate and use your chi. So without your organs, what will you do? You will probably die or probably won't function normally. So your organs also have chi. They are essential and then they create chi or they store chi or they process or transform chi. Your blood is also a form of chi because it flows. If your blood stops flowing, what happens? You probably die. So blood flows as the same way that chi flows. So as your chi flows through your body, so does your blood. It kind of follows each other, all right? What else has chi? Your bones and your marrow has chi. They say that um, your bone marrow is very important because that's basically where your chi is stored. And you can tell how strong a person is in their chi energy by seeing how much bone marrow they have in their bones. What else? Um, herbs, so that's the same as food. So you eat the herbs, and some herbs are better at activating uh, your chi than other herbs, and some herbs, you know, better for organs. So they all have their own uh, part to play. So one level of chi is the chi that's internally in your body, as uh, as I explained here, and that's pretty easy to understand. Traditional Chinese medicine is all um, basically talking about these things. Okay, there's also your acupressure points, your meridians. That's also the channels where the chi flows in your body. Okay, I need to add that Ac acupuncture meridians. So your acupoints and your meridians are the channels where chi flows in your body. And if you study acupuncture, you learn how to basically uh, rewire or activate certain places where you have chi. So if you have blockages anywhere in your organs or blockages in your body, uh, that cause pain, then with acupuncture, you can either loosen up those blockages or you can activate places that are too too weak or you can um, um, slow down or cool down places that are too much, uh, too inflamed or too, uh, are too uh, overexcited. So it's all about balance, okay? It's so the key about 
qi is that there needs to be balance. You know the yin yang symbol is is balance, right? So you have to have balance in your life, which is very kind of contradictory to Western culture where they say, okay, you got to get stronger, bigger, bigger, stronger, faster, faster, bigger, bigger, power, more powerful, right? Um, well, there's no balance there. And what happens is that we become so aggressive and we become so focused on becoming bigger, bigger, stronger, stronger, right? That's, we actually lose balance and become, we basically become unhealthy. It's not healthy. That's, that's the short story. It's not healthy to do that. Okay, what's the second part? Body, external. So qi is also external. And this is something that people start to, you know, uh, they start to have a hard time understanding. It's like, what do you mean qi is external? You mean there's 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 qi uh, outside of my, my, my body? Well, the answer is yes. There is qi outside of your body. You actually have a electromagnetic field around your body. You can measure this with electromagnetic devices. And the biggest field comes from your heart. Your heart has an energy field that you can measure up to uh, 10 to 15 feet away from your body. That's how far it goes. You can measure this electromagnetic field. It's called a biofield. And then there's a camera that I have. I, uh, it's in my garage. It's called a GDV camera. And you can actually take a picture of your biofield and you can see how much qi energy you have. You can, you can scientifically measure it. Okay. So this is the qi energy that's outside your body that you can measure, measure electromagnetically. And this is the technology that uh, our, our main part of the technology that we use in our qi coils and resonant wands and oil coils and so on is we actually replicate the electromagnetic energy from nature and from a healthy person, a healthy body. And then we basically program you with this electromagnetic energy so that now you can enhance yourselves with energy or enhance yourself or balance yourself uh, with with electromagnetic energy. Okay, so that's one another type of qi. Okay, this the third type of qi is your qi from your environment. Remember what, in the experiment what I, uh, when I talked about how a space is um, unclean or a space is not prepared well or unconditioned, in, in bad condition. Well, that's your environment, right? So uh, when we talk about electromagnetic fields, we actually have electromagnetic fields in nature and electromagnetic fields from technology. So the phone that you're looking at right now or the, or the screen that you're look, looking at, it is actually giving off an electromagnetic field. And most of the time, it's actually unhealthy. Also, Wi-Fi, cell towers, microwaves, they all give off a harmful electromagnetic field called harmful EMFs. Okay, so um, those kind of electromagnetic fields are harmful for you because they're not tuned to program you for health. They're not tuned for that. They're actually tuned to nothing. They're tuned to actually frequencies that could possibly cause you cancer. And that's actually happened to a lot of people is people who live closer to cell phone towers have higher rates of cancer in their body. Okay, it's been, it's been proven many times. Now what is, uh, so what else is uh, electromagnetism? So electromagnetism is not just magnetic, there's also the whole spectrum of the electromagnetic spectrum, which covers everything from X-rays to infrared rays to gamma rays to sound energy, uh, light energy, magnetic energy, and electric energy. So it's a big spectrum of frequencies, basically all frequencies, okay? And every day we are bombarded with this, whether it be good from nature or it be bad from bad technology, okay? What do you mean by nature? Well, if you didn't know, the earth has an electromagnetic field. We all studied this in, in uh, science class, right? But what else is that our earth has a grid of lines called ley lines. And these are paths where the positive electromagnetic energy of the earth flow. And back in ancient China, if you were a commoner, it would be illegal for, your, for you to be buried in a ley line. Okay, so only the royalty and only important people were allowed to be buried upon the ley line. They call them the dragon paths. And if you study the, at the ancient sacred sites around the world, you'll find that um, all of them are on ley lines. Take a look at Stonehenge. Take a look at the pyramids. Take a look at the uh, Mayan uh, pyramids. Take a look at the, um, the palace in China. They are all on ley lines. And they're for a reason because they are there to capture the natural positive qi flow of the planet, okay? Which brings us to feng shui. Feng shui is, is, is the 
practice of being able to interpret these ley lines so that you can plan your crops, you can plan your construction, you can plan your home in a way that captures the positive energies and balance rather than uh, uh, be in a place where there's bad energy, which was basically ruin your life, okay? Uh, there's also, so that's talking about on Earth. But what else is beyond Earth is the stars and the planets and other galaxy and the whole universe, right? So there's also astrological chi. If Earth has a magnetic field, don't you think that other planets have magnetic fields? Of course. So that's what astrology is about. It's about measuring the effect of the electromagnetic energy or the magnetic energy that the planets or other galaxies or other astrological um, uh, you know, constructs or whatever uh, is in the, in the universe are affecting us here on planet Earth. So it does have an effect. Even if it's minor, slight perturbations, you, uh, it does have an effect on our psychology, on our mood. Even it has an effect on our radio waves. Let's say there's a um, uh, Mercury retrograde in the, in, in the sky, let's say Mercury is going backwards, it actually affects our, our radio signals. So if it affects radio signals, it affects us because we are all antennas and we all uh, respond to electromagnetic waves or radio waves. Okay, are you guys following? So that's kind of like a short summary of how qi is in the environment, whether it be in your home, in your workplace, in your city, up to the planet, up to the solar system and galaxy. Okay, so that's based on electromagnetic energy. Okay, the fourth level of qi um, is qi that is even harder to explain because you can't measure it with an electromagnetic device. We can't measure it with some kind of uh, spectrogram. It's, uh, you can't measure the frequency, but what happens is that you can see, you can measure the effects. You can measure the effects very, very clearly. Just like in that experiment I explained, the US using this consciousness or or uh, invisible chi quantum, let's call it quantum energy, quantum chi energy, and he was able to um, heal the cancer cells without electromagnetic energy. So how does that? What is going on there? What kind of chi energy is that? Well, this kind of chi energy is 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 something uh, people call many different things, just like chi itself. Okay, let me see what people call it. Um, they call it, yeah, so dark matter is one of them. They call it dark energy. They call it quantum energy. They call it, they call it torsion fields. Okay, so there's many uh, things to call it, but the, uh, to sum it up, what it really is, is the, is the stuff <laughs> that the most of the universe is made of. You know what dark matter is, right? You do you know what dark um, dark energy is? Well, all the astrophysicists, when they um, look at all the galaxies in the in in the universe and they map them out, they they at first they couldn't figure out why light was bending in certain ways uh, where there was nothing to bend them, because according to Einstein, you need to have some kind of mass in order to bend light, right? But they couldn't find any mass. And what they found is they well, whatever this stuff is, it actually makes up 90% of our universe. But we don't know what it is. Okay, we know it's there. We can see the effects, but we don't know what it is. We can't find it. Like, and they call it dark matter or dark energy. And you guess what? 90% of the universe is made up of this dark matter. Okay, so what is this dark matter? Well, maybe it is consciousness itself. Because what consciousness is, is what creates order out of chaos, all right? So our consciousness is what creates order, what creates reality out of chaos. Because according to the Big Bang, there's no reason why we should all end up with, you know, and solid things and we should all end up with, with, with consciousness and the ability to think, ability to do all this stuff that we are, there's no reason for it to happen, okay? And I believe that the only reason it happened is because there was consciousness to start with. To begin with before there was the Big Bang, before there was any kind of uh, creation of all that we exist in the universe. There must be something there before, uh, before it happened, okay? So, so in conventional physics, conventional science, okay, there's four forces, right? There's quantum mechanics, gravity, electricity and magnetism, and nuclear forces, okay? So these are the four 
you know, widely common conventional uh, forces. But, re but, but over the years, even like 50 years ago or 100 years ago, a lot of scientists found that there's something else happening because a lot of the experiments that we, they were doing, even Einstein's experiments, didn't actually work. Um, and what they found, they, they, a lot of scientists discovered that, that there must be something else, like for example, the dark matter. And they found that there's something else happening and there's some other level of mechanic or some other level of energy that we have not yet um, conventionally accepted yet. And that is the same energy that's responsible for consciousness effects, remote healing, distance healing, dowsing, ESP or extra sensory perception, pyrokinesis, I mean, psychokinesis, which are able to move things uh, without touching them, prayer, visualization, out of body experiences, near death experiences, sacred sites, levitation, teleportation, torsion technology, higher dimensions. Okay, why am I talking about these things? Because all these things have had numerous and decades of scientific research showing that it, it's, um, it's real and that humans can do this. We can distance heal, we can do remote healing, we, we have uh, ESP, we have all these abilities and they all break the rules of conventional science. But how come? But we. But it, why does it work? Why is it happening? Why is it scientifically proven that it can work? Well, it's because there's another level of energy that most people have not accepted yet, and that's exactly what we're doing here at, at Chi Life. Is we want to explore, and we want to educate, and we want you to experience this Chi energy, so that you can experience this fifth element, so to speak, this fifth level of energy that. Um, Scientists are just beginning to understand, are just beginning to, to discover and to begin to uh, incorporate in technology, which is what we do. Okay? So you guys excited? You're part of basically the cutting edge of, um, of science. You're in the cutting edge of spirit and science. Um, and then Qi energy, subtle energy, could be the missing link or could be the connection between the two. Now you're probably thinking, okay, what else can you do with this chi energy? What other experiments have there been? Um, so I've done a little bit of research and I found a few things. I don't have the experiments themselves, but I have a quick, um, quick summary. Okay, so we're able to our chi energy can change the properties of water. They change the bond angles and lengths, the water tension, uh, uh, dissolvability, the pH balance. So you can use our <laughs> our minds to change the properties of water. Isn't it crazy? Electromagnetism, we can change the effects of mag magnets and non-metals. We can change uh, magnetic monopoles. We can bend the light with it. We can, uh, um, let me stop doing that. So we can cause electrostatic charge and magnetism. We can actually change gravity. We can change the weight of objects. We can increase the weight or decrease the weight with uh, Qi energy. We can bend light. We can distort photography light. Uh, when there's um, Qi energy. We can uh, excite DNA with a Qi energy and we can we can actually slow the rate of time or speed up time. We can actually affect the rate of nuclear decay in atoms. We can uh, create torsion fields, uh, uh, twisting effects caused by entropic reactions. So basically we can we can affect the uh, we can affect the outcome of of chaos. Basically, we can use our minds to create order in a chaotic, um, you know, uh, a reaction. Any kind of uh, reaction. Uh, we can create heat during healing. We can produce it. We can change the temperatures in the lab. Uh, there's also dark matter, dark energy. There's physiological effects. We can change uh, EEG, EKG, physio physiological metrics between the healer and the heal healer and the healy. And also thousands of um, many Qigong practitioners can actually go on for years without eating. That's right. So they've done studies on this of showing people that did not eat for years. So apparently they're able to extract qi uh, and nutrition and energy from qi itself, from subtle energy. It's kind of like the zero point field. We're all talking about how can there be uh, unlimited energy. Well, these people, they're able to convert just Qi energy into substance, uh, sub substance. That's right. 
Okay, and they've done experiments in Russia and China for these. So all these things they t um, that you're hearing about is like, okay, this is just BS because it doesn't exist. But well, if it doesn't exist, how how could all these scientists over the last 20 years from different countries able to produce the same result? Um, showing that she does work, she energy does exist, and is able to do things that are currently scientifically, you know, conventionally not possible, but we're now proving it with, with science that it is possible. But um, so it's just a matter of time before people realize that this is real. Okay. Now, if it if this is real, then it means a lot of things. And the thing is, is that these physics don't disprove that uh, conventional physics doesn't work, what they actually do is they actually add another model. So they actually add another level or another layer of, um, of reality, of, of, of science. Just like Newtonian physics um, was superseded by Einstein physics, right, of relativity. And now there's a new level of quantum physics. And now there's an, uh, actually beyond quantum physics, there's this subtle energy, which is actually beyond quantum mechanics. It goes beyond that. Okay, so it just takes time before um, the general scientific community will begin to understand. But it doesn't matter what other people do. All I care is that, um, you know, we have a technology and it works. Okay, isn't that all that matters? We have a technology and it does what we need it to do. Okay, we have a technology and it helps you to relieve stress, helps you to sleep better, it helps you to heal faster, it helps you to regenerate, it helps you to you know, uh, unlock your, your spiritual awakening. Okay. All these things we have done it already. So that's the important part, right? Okay. But it's good to know, you know, where things are headed. Now, all this is great news, but let me tell you the bad news. You guys want to, I guess, yeah. Do you want to know the bad news? The bad news is that governments know this. Okay. The, the, Governments know that Qi energy exists. Governments are, have been using it um, in a very nefarious way. Okay, so the to next topic we're going to talk about is the weaponization of Qi energy. Okay, it sounds kind of scary because it is. So the article is about novel electromagnetic disease induction and its weaponization. All right, and this was, um, it's an old article, but basically, this is done by a uh, whistleblower who was explaining how the government was using electromagnetic frequencies in order to create diseases in a large population. Okay, they're called the disease induction by novel electrodynamics. And how it worked was that the major use of this, um, of this QP disease induction weapon will be to slightly augment the effectiveness of biological warfare strikes against the United States by terrorists by unwittingly or wittingly acting as protégés. Such attacks eventually would be made in and against the populace of the United States causing mass casualties by impressing the same disease vector engine for specific BW pathogens used by terrorists in their attacks. In populace residing in the, in the struck population center and bringing that resident engine state in effective body potentials to shadow state, just shy of populace, significantly breaking out of with the disease. Then real biological pathogens for that disease, when unleashed by the terrorists, will have greatly augmented effectiveness. Okay, so long story short is that it was being used as a way to basically prepare a place for attack by augmenting a disease. Okay, so if there were if 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 terrorists or if the United States government themselves wanted to create a disease and have it spread in a large populace, they would use this electromagnetic frequency of the disease and then spread it or or emanate it or broadcast it before releasing the disease itself in order to increase the you know the kill rate of the disease okay so they have the technology to do that and are they using it now i don't know but they have this technology to use electromagnetic waves 
and frequencies as a weapon to spread disease. Okay, such quantum potential preparation, pre-preparation and spreading of the targeted immune systems gives about a five-fold increase in biological strike effectiveness. You guys hear that? So it's a pre-preparation spreading of the targeted immune system. So they're targeting our immune systems to make us more susceptible to a biological strike. And it would increase the effectiveness by five times rather than without the electromagnetic frequency. Okay, so that's pretty scary, you guys. So the government has, has this technology. Okay, so this is the nightmare of bioterrorism. So not only are we, um, you know, susceptible to infectious diseases and viruses, we're also susceptible to them more because of electromagnetic frequencies. But you know what I've been thinking? What has um, rolled out in the last year and a half during the pandemic um, that we were all really fighting against before the pandemic? What, what thing really um, happened? Like what rolled out during that time? Right. 5G. If you think about it, before the pandemic, we were all, you know, they were about to roll out 5G networks and we're all fighting against it, saying it's a we weapon uh, and it's not being uh, FDA approved and they want to roll it out. And then the pandemic happened. And what happened? We all get distracted by all the news we got from the pandemic, all the fear, and we forgot about 5G. And then what house, what did they do with 5G? Guess what happened? They rolled it out silently and quietly while we were all distracted with the pandemic. The FCC and FDA are allowing the build out of 5G in the United States without doing proper studies on it. And both the United States and China are rolling out 5G in a rapid rate, growing approximately five times in size from 2019 to 2020. Okay. Uh, China has already 690,000 5G stations and that growing in a rapid rate, looking at 2000. 18 to 2020, uh, uh, and they expect it to, you know, basically cover the whole world practically with 5G. Why is that important? Because now they have a distribution network for any kind of um, that weaponized electromagnetic frequency. Okay, I'm not saying they're doing it. I'm saying that they could if they wanted to. And unless you're protected, unless you have some way of of you know protecting yourself or at least um, being able to help yourself recover from it then we are all we all susceptible to it we all um you know we all have this um this uh this risk we all have this risk of this happening so what do we do yeah chico is going to help chico will definitely help um on another note we do have these uh frequencies that you can get uh, one, vitamin D is one of the uh, big things right now that's going to help um, boost your immune system. And we get vitamin D, um, <laughs> vitamin B, that's a good idea. So vitamin D and we get it from the sun. So we have a track for the sun. It's free. It's called the Sound of the Sun Sample Track. So if you're on this webinar, you're watching this video and you want to get some more vitamin D or you want to get some more vitamin D absorption, then this track could actually help you do that because it's a we recorded the frequency of the sun. So when you listen to it or when you use it with your cheek oils, you actually get that sun frequency uh, and sun energy, which help you to produce more vitamin D in your body. So that will help. We actually also have um, very important vital immune frequencies if you didn't know. Like in our, in our uh, web store, we have something called the uh, wellness or total wellness. And in that uh, total wellness collection, one of the frequencies is immune boost max. And this is actually quite a powerful um, frequency that we have. So it's part of the total uh, wellness package. Let me show you where that is. So you go to here, you go to frequencies, you go to wellness and chi energy. It's one of our best sellers. It's the energy frequency healing total wellness collection. And right now it's an additional 20% off. And one of the frequencies in here that's included is called Immune Boost Max, as well as many other ones that uh, basically any practitioner, anybody who wants like a, basically an all-purpose kit, uh, all-purpose wellness kits that they can use um, for anybody, then this is a highly recommended one. It's got Immune Boost, it's got all-purpose wellness, it's got 
fatigue and then tiredness exhaustion formula, DNA activation, DNA repair, blood circulation, get well soon and recovery, all purpose regeneration and sleep. So these are like, you know, the, the essentials if you want uh, wellness and we have that. Uh, so I highly recommend it. We also have the immune support bundle. And if you go to, and these are right frequencies. So you're going to go get that, you go to immune. You can search, search immune on our store. You can see anything that has immune in it. So you got immune support bundle, this one here. So this is also highly recommended. So these are right frequencies for immune support, for, for viruses, for cold and flu, and for viruses. <laughs> and for um, respiration health. So uh, this is actually quite powerful that you can use. Okay, so uh, go to chilifestore.com, chilifestore.com, get these frequencies. And uh, in, the, in the meantime, to boost your own bioresonance energy, boost your own um, resilience so that you won't be effective as much, especially you know, if there is some kind of, um, uh, you know, EMF attack, then you would be a lot more protected uh, if you weren't, as if you weren't. Yes, and cheek coils. So as I said, we have our cheek coils. Uh, we all love cheek coils. And cheek coil max, they have, we have the cheek coil two. All these are on sale right now. If you don't know how cheek coil works is, you first download the app, Right now I'm actually playing this frequency recharge and the app has 900 frequencies, right? You download the app, you get a whole bunch of free ones already. And the free ones you get like recharge, de-stress, attract, sleep. Those are all free, regenerate, soothe. So we got a bunch of free ones, like basically everything you need to as like a first aid kit, so to speak. And you connect it to, um, our mobile power kit and then that connects to the that powers the chi coil and the chi coil creates a, a field of energy around it up to 20 square feet for this one's up to 11 for this one's up to 20 so you can it can be big enough to clear the energy in the room so even if you're just in the room you'll be receiving the energy and you can use this to basically reprogram your all your cells in your body reprogram all your dna to start to become optimal and also protects you because it increases your chi energy field, increases your bound energy field. We use the GDV camera, sorry. So this is the 20 square foot. This is the 10, or 11 square feet. This is the app. And then this is the, the power kit that connects to it. And uh, as I was saying, so um, you can use it to increase your chi energy field, that electromagnetic field from, that comes from your body. And that field is, acts as a sort of um, like shield around you, literally. It acts as a shield so that if other frequencies like start coming into it, then it will be harder for you to be affected by it. Okay, Michelle wants to know, can you still get good effects with only the frequency or do you need the Qi coil? That's a good question. Um, they're just two different kinds of uh, modalities. The, the chi coils, they definitely affect your body more than the frequencies. So the frequencies are really good for your mind, okay? Like for example, I every night I listen to the sleep frequency and that helps me sleep. Um, but then when I have pain or when I have um, when I have pain or when I need more energy, then I use the chi coils. So both work well. It's just one works better than the other one. What frequency pack did you use for intestinal problem? We have um, digestive support that's in our male enhancement. I know it says male enhancement, but part of what's in there is a digestive support. So if you go to frequencies, you go to Rife, or you go to wellness and chi energy, the one for digestion is here. You go to Rife and then you go down to, where's digestion? Digestion, this one here, okay? So just use this one. Okay, another one you can use is, uh, go to Wellness Chi Energy. 
you know, the male enhancement, and that's part of this male enhancement package, which is pretty good. Um, it's testosterone, and not just for men, like some women also need testosterone too, I guess. Um, and uh, it has in here digestive system somewhere here, digestive system support. So I use that too. So those two I recommend. Front pant pockets, back pant. Where's the best place to keep your cheek hole all day? Um, front back pockets. I would keep it. I keep it in my side pockets. If you have side pockets, when I go for a walk, I put it in the fanny pack. So anywhere you know around the middle, because we put it in the middle. That's where your dan tian is. That's where your qi energy storage is. Like put it on your stomach in front of your belly button. That's where I usually do it. Um, if you're walking around all day, if you're just sitting at a desk, it doesn't really matter. You can just put it on your desk in front of you. If you're out oral coil, you just put it anywhere in the room and you're going to get the energy. Same with the resonant wand. It's pretty powerful. It covers 170 square foot. Uh, by the way, oral coils, we have a huge sale on too right now because we are phasing out uh, some of the uh, original legacy oral coils. So if you want to get them, we have limited supply of oral coils and they're a really good deal. So if you go here, you go to legacy systems. You see these oral coils, we only have uh, one left of this one, 14 inch that you see in the background here. We only have, not this one, but we have one, uh, one refurbished one and three new ones. And the only um, 1,500 and 2,000. So, and then also the resident one system and the practitioner system. These are a really good deal. We're phasing it out. We're having some new Qi coils come in. Uh, I think we won't have the 14 inch anymore. So if you want to get a small oral coil, now is a good time to get it before uh, they all sell out. Then we won't, we won't make them anymore. We're only going to make the 24 inches. Uh, what frequency is good for joint health? We just like for all these questions, just search our website. We have like just search joint or just search um, intuition and, and it's all in there. Like for example, you can if you join if you want joint health just search joints and then you'll see joints and then you can see you know we have one specifically for joints these are right frequencies bones and joints bones and spine okay so it's all there uh what, what's for intuition so you type in intuition intuition we have one called divine intuition and instinct we have one called universal wisdom intuition collection we have um, psychic ability collection which is uh, the most powerful one so you can search that will you do a discount soon for a package deal of the gold one and the whole house call yeah we can do some something for you so if you, you're interested um, just leave your name and phone no phone number and email on uh, privately send it to on the chat privately to me and then i'll get someone to call you in and work uh, give you a really good deal uh crown says hey, david here in australia we have to pay uh, we have have after pay for what we can pay off the coils may help we have after pay for those who have pay off the curls may help with sales uh after pay okay you mean for financing yeah we we can do an in-house financing option uh but I don't think we have anything like Afterpay set up yet. We can look into it. Yeah, we'll look into it Afterpay for Australian customers because we do have a lot of Australian customers like yourself. Uh, what's best mob pH and headsets? Mobile and headsets. Headsets, it doesn't really matter. Anything works fine. When we use magnets with the Chico, is that enhancing or diminishing the chi coil. Uh, you're enhancing it when you use chi coils with magnets. Michael says, I use headphones to hear frequencies. How often and how loud, how loud should I hear it? Well, you don't want to turn it so high that your ears hurt or you start to become uncomfortable. So just regular, like you're listening to music. Um, that's how loud you should, you should turn it on. And you can use headphones or you can just play it from your phone. With, when you use the headphones, you can hear the lower frequencies better. So so headphones are probably recommended, but then if you use, but actually ideally the best situation if you just listen to frequencies is to use high, high quality speakers because then it's gonna vibrate around the, the, the air around your body and it's actually your whole body skin will be vibrating to the frequency. Whereas if you use the headphones, they're still good, but then you're just vibrating your ears, right? 
or around your head. But if you have really nice speakers, you turn up the, the, the volume on the frequencies, it'll vibrate the skin on your whole body. Is there a time limit when frequency is in use? Uh, what do you mean time limit? It just depends on, on the person. Some people, yeah, some people use it all day long. Like for example, that's the good thing about the oil coils. You can just set and forget. You just you know, plug it to a um, resonant console with all the frequency on it. So you don't need to use your phone. You just have it play 24 seven. That's why I have in my mom's house because I can't be all day, uh, can't be there all the time. I don't have time to turn it on and off for her. So I just leave it on all the time. Yeah, Jimmy says I use my PMF all day. Yeah, so you can use it all day. It's just um, you have to just turn it up or down depending on how you feel, right? Like you, you will know if you use it long enough, you you know that um, when you had enough, right? If you had enough, you start to feel a little bit nauseous and a little bit dizzy. So when when that happens, you know you need to drink more water and then turn it down a bit or get some rest. So it's just like if you like eat too much or you drink too much water, your body would know. Michael said, I can't because I live with other people, so I'm forced to use headphones. How often should I hear the frequencies for best results? Um, so it, these are all in our FAQ, okay, guys? So if you guys go to FAQ, there's a cheat call user guide. It answers pretty much every question you ask here. It shows you the frequency, quick start guide, and cheat call quick start guide, how to set up your phone with the cheat calls, uh, how to use cheat calls, okay? And then we also have a F frequency user guide. Once again, with um, a lot of the questions answered here. So if you want to do some more research, go ahead and do that. Um, but for now, how often you should listen to it? As often as you like. Uh, but I wouldn't listen to it for more than three hours a day. Uh, if you hear the frequencies, you can do it every day. It's the same thing with, with the coil. If you listen to the frequencies, eventually it starts to get feel like okay i've had enough of this and then you, you don't want to listen to it it's kind of like if you listen to a song many many times eventually you get tired of the song and you say okay i don't want to listen to this anymore you know listen, listen to something else that's kind of like what happens with the frequencies you know you listen to it and then uh, at first it might feel like okay it feels kind of weird and after you listen it for a while then you feel like oh this is actually pretty good uh and it, it, it makes you feel better um and there's other times when you listen to frequency and then it makes you feel better right away. And then after you listen to it for some time, then you say, oh, okay, I had enough. And then you stop listening to it. So it's kind of like just just food. It's, it's, it's food for your body. It's a magnetic food. And your body will know and you, you will naturally know when you had enough. Crown says, uh, where would you start if you were a newbie? Um, the Quick Start Guide. So just go in and watch the Quick Start Guide. On uh, And start with the with the frequencies on the app. So we have all that set up for you, uh, Crown Jazz. So yeah, we'll, we'll have a, cons you know, you have a free consultation. We'll answer all the questions once you get your system. How long before you start seeing results? That really depends from person to person. Like some people see results like instantly. It just depends on how uh, electromagnetically sensitive you are. Like we're talking about energy, energy right? So some people um, sense it very, well, like highly sensitive, and some people don't feel that at all. There's actually about 20% of people won't feel anything. So to be honest, right? 20% won't feel a thing. But then if we hook up the, you know, the, um, the, the, the machine to them and hook up the, the reading, like the EEG and the um, uh, heart rate monitor, and then we hook up like the, uh, the skin conductance machines, we can see it working on them. You know, their heart rate variability improves, uh, their, their, you know, their brain waves calm down. But the thing is that peop some people or 20% of the people just don't have that mind-body connection. So even if something's happening in their body, their mind are not able to, to realize that it's happening. So they, so, so they would just say, oh, I don't feel anything. But they just, they don't have that mind-body connection to, 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 to actually notice that something is actually happening. Because when we hook up this, the, the machine to them, we can show them that something actually happening. You know what I'm saying? So um, how, you know, how fast does it work? Well, it's going to work immediately. It's going to do its work immediately on you. But uh, whether people feel it uh, immediately or not, it really depends on the person. So people, some people use it uh, uh, for three weeks and they say, oh, I finally start to uh, feel it. You know, some people after 20, they do it for 20 minutes a day and like three weeks later, then they start 
start noticing the benefits and then after that they say yeah and i can really feel it so it's like you know some people are softer like if you have play-doh some people are softer to uh, and some people are harder to uh, uh to kind of shape so it really depends on you Ricky says, if I bought a console, is it easy to switch my frequencies from the iPad to the console? Yeah, so the console is basically a, uh, I don't have one here, but it's, it's a tablet. And if you already bought frequencies on the iPad, they will be automatically transferred to the console. We just unlock it for you. Okay. Um, if you have an iPad that you use separately, then you probably don't really need the console. You just need to buy the frequencies and they'll unlock on the iPad. So the console is really... Um, good if you want just you don't have an iPad you just want a separate device like you want to use specifically just for the frequencies and um, and you just want that because the, the we're not charging that much for the you know the console itself the the price of the what you're paying for is mostly for the frequencies okay Michelle says I believe what you're doing is incredible but why isn't this idea taking over the world it seems it could heal everything um, yeah it is very incredible, and thanks, thanks for saying that. I was just talking to a um, professor, university professor. He's also a PhD, and and uh, he's very interested in partnering with us. Uh, he's got a lab, and he's got like a lot of research and patents and things like that. And uh, we we we're probably going to be working together very soon. And it's and and then yeah, there's people are just starting to kind of get uh, understand uh, about energetic medicine which is what this is it's it's energy and it's medicine and also about quantum and uh quantum quantum entanglement and quantum energy or chi energy this subtle energy so scientists are kind of slowly starting to realize hey this stuff works and it's, it's actually very effective it does not replace you know all the other um you know beneficial signs and you know medicine but what it does is it actually enhances it and makes it gives it another dimension and the cool thing is that it's you know practically free because once you have a frequency, you can just play it as many times as you want. You don't have to keep buying supplements. You don't have to keep getting injections, right? You don't have to keep getting vaccines. You don't have to you don't have to do that because once you have it, you can use it as many times as you want and just turn it on and use your phone. Like our phones are so powerful now, then why not turn it into a you know a healing device? Why not turn it into a wellness device? You have you know th this phone that we have. So that's exactly what we do. And we have some really exciting things coming up. Uh, if you buy the Quantanium line and, and any of the Resonant One Gold line, uh, Resonant Ones, we're going to give a upgrade to them very soon. So it's going to be a quantum upgrade. I'm not going to explain it. It's going to take too long. But basically, we're going to upgrade it for you uh, free of charge once that new technology is ready. So you invest in the quanta Quantanium what I be my quantanium is if you go to uh, homepage, you can see like we have our Chico Mini Chico Two, and then we have our quantanium line, which is our our like our high end line with the quantanium crystals. By the way, let me show you something. You probably have seen this in the background, wondering what the heck this is. So this is the the um, basically the base inside of uh, Chico Max. Look how complex it is. So I designed this. Uh, so the real one will have all the you know all the windings around it, but this is the the inside. And if you look at it very carefully, if you can see, there's these little holes here, and that's where the crystals go. Okay, so we have put crystals in there. Uh, so we have six crystals in a hexagon pattern, all inside of the coil. And then we put the wires on. So you can't see them when the wires are on, but they are in there. And the powerful thing about crystals, as we know, as most people know, is that they actually hold intention and they hold uh, resonance. So even if your coil, you're not powering it, even if uh, you're not hooked up to any power, you're not playing any frequency because you have the crystals in there, they would be programmed with that resonance. And they will keep resonating even after you use the coil. Isn't that cool? So that's the, the feature that the Quantanium line has and also the Resident One has and the new 24 inch coils. The 14 doesn't have it because it doesn't have any crystals, but the, the 24 inch ones do. So anything with the crystals have that extra 
um, resonance, uh, quantanium resonance. Okay, so you get that with that. And then the and the best resonance is on the wands. People are asking, well, what's the difference between the, the wands? Look at this. I designed this. This is 24 karat plated gold. These are real rubies and jam, uh, sapphires, topaz, citrine, quartz. Okay, isn't that amazing? So this is this is a uh, resonance on a totally high level because now I've added all these gems and they all resonate with energy. So this is the one with the most gems. So real sapphire, real ruby gems. So we all know in Chinese, we call them bosek, right? Basically healing stones. All these are in Chinese are called healing stones. There's a reason they, why they call them healing stones because they have healing properties. So all that's available. And you know, if you're saying, thinking, Wow, this stuff is pretty expensive. You, know, you can start for, you know, you can start with a Chico Mini system. Um, you know, I don't have a Mini here, but the smaller version of this for only two hundred ninety nine, and you can finance that even for like thirty bucks a month or something like that. So, so it's really low cost for you to start experiencing Chi energy. That's why I want people to to do that. I want them to experience this Chi energy that totally transformed my life. Um, ever since I was a kid, because my uncle is a uh, tai Chi master, Tai Chi Qigong master. And ever since I was a kid, I would learn from him, you know, doing some Tai Chi and doing Qigong. And I was wondering, well, is this stuff even real? But I felt it and say, okay, it's got to be something. I don't really understand what it is, but I feel it. And I kept doing the practices and I used it, you know, in my martial arts and used it in my meditation. But I never really figured out, say, okay, how, you know, you know, how can I improve this? How can I make this available to everyone? And then, and then I figured out this technology and I was so excited because I said, well, instead of teaching everybody how to do Qigong, which would take forever, why don't I just send them these frequencies and why don't I just send them these Qi coils and they can just experience like Qi energy just with the snap of the finger or just press a button. I don't have to spend a month or a year teaching them how to do Qigong. So that's, that's why um, I'm excited about this and I'm, I keep uh, improving it. Like I said, there's going to be an upgrade coming up, a free upgrade. And that's part of a new technology I'm working on right now. If you think that what we have right now is awesome, which it is, just wait until you see what else we have in store that's coming up. It's going to be even better. It's going to add on top of this technology and then make it even more powerful and make it even more convenient and easy to use. Crown says, I'm going to set up a human home for helping people. Great. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And then all you need really is just to maybe an aura coil make it maybe a wand and maybe some chi coils and just have it playing all day people can come in your healing home you can play a frequency and then automatically receive healing just as they step through the door the way we have a affiliate program if you don't know about it uh, a lot of people have been asking like how do i become an affiliate do you have affiliate program yes we do if you go to the bottom of the website if you go down to the footer here it says about us media and affiliate program if you click that It'll, it'll give you a page on uh, how to become an affiliate. Okay, so you can get anywhere from 10 to 30 percent commission on our, all of our products. And actually, not all. Sorry, I mean chi coils and frequencies um, mainly. Okay, uh, you can you can not the resonant one, not not the oral coils. Okay, but but that doesn't matter. Okay, just promote the chi coils, and you're going to get um, commission. We already have a, a you know we have something like. Uh, 100 something affiliates um, and the, uh, we have people making some good money we have a lot of people that made enough money you know they just say oh, I just want to make enough money to pay for my Chico so they do and then after that they still make more money you know just by talking about it on their social media or just sharing it with your friends you guys get your own link and then you guys just send people to the site our site does all the work we do all the customer service we send the stuff out to people and you get paid so if you're interested in doing that uh, learning more about that just go to that website and cl click that link and and become an affiliate this works in really well with your tiktok contest because you can sign up as an affiliate and then you can make your tiktok videos or your social videos you can post it on facebook and instagram youtube wherever and then you can use your affiliate link and say if you want to learn more click on this link and then all the people that come to coming to our store to buy whatever they buy it doesn't have, even have to be a cheat call you'll get credited for it you get your percentage, you get commission. So that would pay for your, your cheek coils and maybe, and then some. So think of, you can, you can, you can hit two birds with one stone. You can enter the contest, have a chance to win a cheek coil max or a, a surprise gift. 
at the same time, you get to make money as an affiliate. So it's a win-win-win. And then we grow as a company. Isn't that awesome? So isn't that a great idea? So um, do that. All right. And the deadline is the end of this month. So get your stuff together. Make those videos. Uh, uh, set up your affiliate account first. Okay. And then at the same time, make the videos. You can post them anytime. As long as you post it before the 30th of this month, it's going to be counted in. Uh, Michael says, which tracks from the DMT Ayahuasca should I listen for the best results? Um, they are all good. I would pick the one that I think is the most pleasing to listen to, right? Some of them you might think are, you know, the thing is some of them are psychoactive. Some of them are less psychoactive. What I mean is like some of them you start to hallucinate if you <laughs> listen too much. So, um, some of them are more pleasing, more relaxing. So they all have a kind of like a slight different effect. So I would just try all of them and just pick the ones you like and listen to those. They all have good results. The links you need to know about is uh, the TikTok, chicocontest.com to get information for the for the contest. Go to Chi Life Store um, for all the frequencies on sale right now. And, and also go to the affiliate page to sign up. So the, all those things you can do. All right, so yeah, stay safe, stay uh, and take care. Use the Chi and prosper.